can see Steve has already drawn the front of the engine shed out. He's drawn and scored in the lines for the motor. He's also drawn in the window, which will be a vented window. And now what he's currently doing is just drawing in the brickwork. You'll also notice that above the entrance will be a steel girder. In this section you can see Steve cutting out the apexes on the roof and now he's turning his attention to cutting out the entrance to the engine shed. This shed is designed to take two engines or stroke locos side by side. Cutting out the circle on the vent is not easy, it takes a little bit more pressure but you need to take a little bit more time over it. Just give it a light sand in just to take any bits off. Now Steve's just drawing in the, um, I think this will be stone rather than brick. And the reason he does that is just purely so it shows up on the film a bit better. So now he's cutting in the stone mortar lines. Moving on now to tapping out the bricks. If you've seen our previous video of the bare window houses, you'll all know how this is done. So you just need a light touch. Obviously we're not going to show you all of it. On this section Steve's cutting out two strips of brick wall 
and it, what he'll do with those is he'll uh, stick them to the front of the walls on the entrance to the loco shed and he'll put them on the side so it'll give the appearance that the walls are quite thick which is obviously what they would be to hold, hold the steel girder Just a scrap of um, PVC form board that Steve's using for this. So now he's just slicing it in, down the middle so he gets his two pieces. Whenever Steve does any work, he always sands afterwards. And I'm quite happy with that because when it comes to me painting, the less sanding I have to do. So here we are just marking in the brickwork again. Okay, Steve's already completed the two sides and as you can see he's put the thicker walls in for the inside girders to rest on. So what he's going to do now is just put the window sills on. So once he's stuck them he will trim the fronts and then round the, thr the fronts off. So that job completed, Steve has now glued the sad 
to the front of the loco shed. On this section he's actually doing the back of the loco shed so he's just drawing in the, um, the apexes I think. Okay, so the back's completed. It's been uh, the brickwork's been done, and it's been cut out and glued on. The back is just plain brickwork. There's no fancy brickwork on there. So now for the next side. So the right side is the same as the left side except for there's no windows taken out of there because that will be facing part of the railway that's rarely seen because of bushes. Sometimes it's handy if you've just got an extra pair of hands just to help out. The only thing with me is I'm a bit heavy handed when it comes to spraying the activator so I tend to go through it a bit quicker than Steve does. When you do glue anything just make sure you move the project as soon as you've done it or once it's set because you'll be able to stick it to the worktop if you don't. On this section Steve's preparing the base. There'll be two sides plus a middle and plus a back piece. Now the middle piece will actually sit on the railway between the two tracks and uh, one of the pieces, I think this is the piece he's doing now, will actually have a wider base at one end and that's for the workmen's offices or the railwayman's offices. That is when Steve can decide which way it goes. That's more like it, Steve.
as you can see it's going to be a substantial building Because every piece you add to this building from now on will literally strengthen it. I think it's just explaining there how the middle section will be but of course that will be on the track. So before we put the roof on it was my idea to actually spray the inside of the shed first because it gets so difficult to paint things at times especially inside buildings so I thought it'd be easier to spray it beforehand. I don't know if Steve agrees. <laughs> On this section Steve's cutting out the steel girders so he'll cut out four solid pieces first.
just checking to see how far he's got to go. So now he's cutting out the centre two girders and the reason we're doing that is because it will have a skylight on the roof so when you look through the skylight you're going to see these girders and they'll look more realistic if the centre's cut out of them. So we're coming to the end of this video now and in the next video we should be constructing the roof. So thank you for watching and join us on the next one.